What's up resellers? I'm Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca the reseller. Thanks for joining me today for another thread up video. I know I've been doing tons of them, but I've just got so much to say and so much has been going on with it that I'm really excited to kind of bring you as much content as I can to kind of help you with your thread up journey wherever you are in the process. I will be getting back to Poshmark content as well. I've got a couple things cooking, so do stay tuned for that. Don't give up on me if you're into Poshmark. I will have that coming for you soon. Today's video is going to be about thread up flops or thread up sales that didn't do so well or brands that maybe you shouldn't send into thread up because the payouts are not so high. Um, this was highly requested. So this was the next video I wanted to jump on and do for you. Um, it's pretty easy to track my thread up sales through my emails and that may be something that you want to do for yourself. So I started out here just to kind of give you the quick tip that you can set up labels if you have a Gmail. I'm sure you could do something similar in other email accounts, but I just set up filters for all of my thread up sales based on keywords that are in those thread up emails noting a sale. So all my thread up sales go to a particular folder automatically and are labeled with a label. And then I go in and sort from there when I want to pull things out and kind of look at them for a video. So I pulled out thread up flops that are like just brands that aren't so good. And then I even filtered it further and made this one, which is thread up $5 less video. Um, this particular one is going to go over brands that sold for less than a $5 payout. So that's what this is specifically about. $5 or less payout on thread up. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I probably will do some other flop videos that kind of go over other things like maybe it didn't sell really well compared to Poshmark or maybe it didn't sell well in comparison to the value of the brand like there might be some other focused ones but right now let's dive in to this one so these are going to all be sales that I got a payout of less than five dollars so starting this off is a denizen from Levi's denim shorts now I think I'll also do a separate video about um certain types of items that do, you know, less well payout wise, or maybe like a summer one, because I do feel like there are some trends that I'm starting to notice here. But this particular one, Denizen from Levi's was a $2.43 payout. Um, now, I, I'm going to mention this as I go forward, but I'll just say it now real quick. I don't remember what I priced these at, and I don't remember what ThreadUp priced it at. Because remember, when you send something in, ThreadUp is going to give you a listing price based off of retail value. Then you can go in and change it. Usually you're going to change it to higher than that. Then you could also potentially drop that price as the listing window goes forward. So. I just have the payout here at this point. This one is from May. Like, I can't remember where it was priced, what I did to it, how many times, it was, like, I don't know. So this is where it ended up. And so take from it what you will, because, you know, you could have yours priced at max and it sells for higher. And I dropped my prices in there. I ended up at $2 and 43 cents. Like, I don't know. And I don't have that information. So you got to take these with a little bit of a grain of salt. Um, but I do think it's a good exercise, a good guide to kind of get an idea of what particular brands may not be so valuable or, or helpful. Um, so here we go. Denizen from Levi's $2 and 43 cents. I have a lot of these, so I'm going to try to go through them pretty quickly. This is a J Crew factory short sleeve t-shirt. So a couple things you can take from this. I only got $3 for it. It's a t-shirt. It's J Crew factory. Those are two things that I just really am not trying to deal with. Also keep in mind that my average cost of goods right now is between $2 and 50 cents and $3 on average, a lot of the items that I send in here, I get through a particular pre-owned bulk source where my average price is $3. So for this one, I basically made my money back. That's okay. I made my money back. It's not going to sell for more. It's not going to sell for less. It was a wash. Um, so that, you know, it is what it is. In some situations, I may have lost money on an item, but at least I've recouped some money and then hopefully I'll be getting profit on other items. When you're ordering incoming inventory and then sending it out to thread up and you're not doing all the work yourself, sometimes you end up with these situations. 
Next up is a Simply Styled Linen Pair of Pants, $4.08. So a small profit on this, again, compared to my average. Nothing too crazy, but it's less than $5. And it is linen pants, so that's unfortunate. Here's a popular brand, a New Day long sleeve blouse. Payout $4.08. Didn't lose money, made a small profit, but I know that you could probably sell this on Poshmark and potentially make $7.05 if you sold it for 10 or what have you. So, I mean, there are definitely some trade-offs to selling the thread up and the payout structure that they have where you might be able to do better on another platform. Here is a Banana Republic sleeveless blouse, $3.27. Um, I don't even know how to say this dress, but it was new with tags, Capagallo. I don't know what brand this is, but it was a really pretty dress and I got $2.70 for it, which is not so great. Charlotte Russe, hello, okay, it is what it is, $4.08. Don't judge me on some of these. Connection 18 leggings. This is, you know, I'm assuming just a no-name boutique kind of brand, you know, nothingness. I don't know anything about Connection 18, but it came to me. I sent it in and I only got 75 cents for it. So that was a bummer. Old Navy sleeveless t-shirt. So here we go, 48 cents for your Old Navy sleeveless kind of tank top. This is something to keep in mind. If you're a heavy Old Navy seller, you may not wanna be sending those kinds of things in. LuLaRoe leggings. These are a youth or a tween size, and I bought out someone's LuLaRoe inventory or stock a while back at, mm, I think it was a dollar, dollar 25 a piece, something like that. So all the LuLaRoe that I've sold on ThreadUp has made a very small profit, but at this point, I made the money back. I sold it in a way, I was selling it for like 10 bucks a pop. In a variety of different ways. Everything was brand new with tags. And so I well then made my money on that particular bulk buy that I did where I bought out this lady's inventory. And so everything that I sent into thread up were just things I was trying to get rid of that I didn't have any other way to do. Um, and so I made a very tiny profit on each piece that sold. So there were a few of them. Uh, also, I sent those in, in a I don't care about it box. So I didn't pay the fees for those um, items. Next up is an um, uh, la, 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 Under Armour Active Tank, $4.08. Again, it's not a substantial piece, so okay. Style & Co. I've had some good luck with Style & Co., but different kinds of pieces. This is just a three-quarter sleeve t-shirt, and so I only got $2.70 for it. This is Live A Little. I'm not familiar with this brand, but I sent it in, and I only made $2.43 off of it. This is an Eddie Bauer, again, a long sleeve t-shirt, $1.92. So you can kind of see a trend on the t-shirt side of things. Not really a good idea. Jag swimsuit top, $4.81. Okay. L.L. Bean long sleeve polo. Um, I've had some good luck with some other L.L. Bean pieces. This was not one of them. This was only $3.27. Oh, this was cute. Disney swimsuit top. It was Ariel, and I only got $1.47 for it. So that was a bummer. Peacock's jacket. I think that this was from an airport lost luggage haul from a while ago. I mean, it's been now a while since I've done one of those. I'm really itching to do another one, but there's just no way I can do it right now. Um, because when you go to pick up your winning auction lot, you can't bring any kids. No kids under 16 are allowed there. And so right now I have zero kid free time. So there's no way I can go and pick up my lot should I actually win one. Um, but Peacock's jacket, yeah. So only $4.08. So even for a jacket, still not very much. What's going on? Um, Forever 21 denim shorts, wah, wah, wah. $1.92. So no more Forever 21. I mean, there were some Forever 21 pieces that even if I found them at the bins, I would still pick up to sell on Poshmark for like a 10 or $15 sale or to quickly flip to Style Encore or something like that. And I just, you know, I'm not shopping at the bins obviously anymore. And in my particular business model setup of buying bulk online or buying one off online and then sending in the thread up, I just don't have room for these kinds of things. So everything that I have of this nature is pretty much gone at this point. So that was only $1.92. Victoria's Secret, this was like a swim cover up. They have it as a short sleeve top, whatever, but $4.08 for that. 
Um, Ralph Lauren short sleeve t-shirt, again, a t-shirt, and I'm pretty sure this was new with tags, and it was Ralph Lauren, not Lauren Ralph Lauren, um, and it had the polo, you know, guy on the front and everything, $2.40, bummer, feathers, three-quarter sleeve blouse, size 3X, $2.70, not so hot. Paper crane sleeveless blouse. Again, this might have even been from airport. Like, it, this is not something that I would pick. Um, so it probably just came to me. I got three dollars and fifty-two cents for it. Again, on a two fifty to three dollar average cost of goods, I'm still making a dollar, and it's all kind of flowing through in this bulk nature. So that's okay. Um, and it's recouping my money, giving me a tiny bit of profit. It's fine, but it's not what I'm looking for the children's place. So I did send in some children's things because when I used to shop at the bins, I would purposefully pick up new with tags or more substantial kids items that either I thought I could sell myself, but I was very selective, um, you know, for Poshmark. And then I would also take a lot of things to Once Upon a Child, just like I take things to Style Encore or you might take to Plato's Closet. And so in certain situations, you could flip things from the bins to Once Upon a Child and make a profit. And be, I, I figured it's not worth making the trip to do either one of those things specifically. But because I was already at the bins, I was already there. So I might as well pick up kids things. And because I already was selling things to Style Encore, I could go right next door and sell things to the nearby Once Upon a Child as well. And so it wasn't anything out of the ordinary just to do that kids selling thing. If you were going out of your way to source kids clothes or to sell kids clothes, I don't know that it would be worth it for you and especially not on thread up. In this particular case, I bought those at the bins. I'm sure they only cost me 50 cents if that. I flipped it for $1.92, okay, fine, but it's not something that I want to be focusing on. Next up is a Chico's tank top for $3. This is another type of item along the lines of a t-shirt. If it's an undershirt, a tank top, something that's going to be layered over these very basic things, these are not things that I want to be dealing with thread up for, or I may start putting in a I don't care about you box and not paying um, the fees for, because to get $3 for it, it, it is what it is. Um, so that's that Nike t-shirt. This was brand new with the tags only got $1.92 for it. Ava and Viv. I've had a couple of this brand. I've really kind of stopped with it, but I had a few that came to me and, you know, they flipped for just a few dollars. So this flipped for $3. So again, not what I'm looking for, but I will take it because it's there. Another pair of LuLaRoe leggings. This time, this is a women's one and I got $3 for it. So pretty much all the women's LuLaRoe leggings received $3 for those. This is a J. Jill tank top. Again, along the tank top route, only $3 for that. Here's another one, $2.77 for this J. Jill. Very basic kind of layering type of tank top. J. Jill, again, $3.26 for the long sleeve t-shirt. So again, we're seeing a theme with the t-shirts and the layering pieces. J. Jill still is doing okay for me, but I will say that I'm not getting as much for it as I was before. Um, Karen Scott, long sleeve top, $4.53. You know, that Karen Scott gets you every time. Still sells though, so, okay. Lady Hagen, I don't even know where this brand is from. It came to me in a bulk pre-owned lot. I got $1.47 for it. It's just recouping some of my money. French laundry, short sleeve top. Um, this was kind of like a high low thing with a tie front, only 87 cents for this. So again, I don't know what thread up priced it at. I don't know what I may have maxed it at listing price. And I don't know if I dropped the price on it, but here we go. I ended up with 87 cents. Next up is a soy boo. I've seen this, I don't know where it's sold, but I've seen this often. And some pieces, like I think I picked that up because I thought I was going to wear it. It's probably from the bins, um, you know, from quite some time ago. And I probably thought I was going to wear it because it's a size large. And maybe I guess I just didn't want to. So that's $2.70. $4.53 for this atelier. I don't know how to say it. It's a wool skirt and it's a really pretty skirt. And I guess I thought when I picked it up, I think it was from the bins that it was something. And I just never looked into it. I never really researched it. I never 
went further with it. It was listed for quite some time and never sold. And here we go, it sold, but I only got $4.53. So that's that. Here we go with my foot's falling asleep. Um, Holly Robinson, Pete Maternity. Is that the lady from Hanging with Mr. Cooper? I think it is. Um, I still love that show. <laughs> so it's her maternity line, I guess. Okay, fine. Sold for 60 cents. Again, don't know what the pricing and how that all worked. I've sent in some maternity things. None of them have done amazingly well where I'm making Boku bucks, but I don't think any of them were amazing to begin with. But I have made some decent money on maternity items. This one ended up in the under $5 payout area, but there are some that did, you know, higher than that. And so they were okay. Uh, let's see, keep it moving. Additions by Chico's. I've talked about this in a few videos. Be mindful of the varying lines within a brand. They're not all created equal. Additions by Chico's, no good, 75 cents. Bad news, don't do it. <laughs> Don't send it in. Um, Calvin Klein, this is a kid's little zip up hoodie, size eight to 10. And I got $3 for it. So I don't remember where that came from. So we'll pretend that we, whatever, don't worry about it. Talbot's outlet. So again, like I said before with the J. Crew factory, when you are dealing with factory outlet, all those kinds of outlet brands, um, or lines of the brand. Be mindful, you're not gonna get as much for it. They know, Banana Republic outlet, J. Crew outlet, Tab Talbot's outlet, um, Ann Taylor Loft, Ann Taylor Factory, you know, all those things, they note it. And so you're not going to get as much money for it as the regular line. So if you have a Talbot's outlet, I would say sell it on Poshmark, send it to your buy, sell trade store, do something else with it, I don't think it's worth it. $3.52 for this long sleeve top. Oh my God, I had this for so long. I used to, I mean, I started selling baby clothes. <laughs> I started selling Geo's clothes on Tot Spot. For those who've watched this channel, you've probably heard the story, but I started out selling baby clothes and I thought it was the greatest thing. And that's what got me hooked into reselling at all. Um, and so I would sell stuff like this all the time, little baby gap things. I mean, when I found baby gap, I was so excited because I knew I'd make $5, $10, whatever. Now, you know, it's harder to do, or you just have to take less money, or I'm just not as focused on it because it doesn't bring in the money and it doesn't excite me like it used to. Um, but man, I used to sell some baby gap for sure. So this was cute. I think Gio, did Gio wear this? Gio must have worn, I don't know, was this Gio's? Maybe this is a girl's, I don't know. Gio had like something like this. <laughs> I don't remember if this was Gio's or not, but anyway. Um, I had this up on Poshmark for quite some time and it did not sell. And for whatever reason, the local Once Upon a Child didn't take it. And there was nothing wrong with it. And it's so cute. Anyway, um, $1.54. You know, if I pick this up at the bins, obviously I still made money on it. It's fine. Um, but Baby Gap, just not what it used to be. Talbot short sleeve t-shirt. So this isn't factory or anything like that. This is just regular Talbots, but again, a short sleeve t-shirt. How much can you possibly make? Though I'm noticing here 1X petite. So people have been asking me about the petite. Here you go. I mean, again, I don't think the price has anything to do with the fact that it's petite, but whatever. And focus casual dress. This was a Ross retail arbitrage when Ross had their big clearance I picked up a million and a half dresses and many of them did amazingly well on Poshmark like right from the get like sold super quick that was early 2020 oh early 2020 before everything went crazy where we could actually leave our house and go shopping like normal people should we all just take a moment okay <laughs> God, I don't even remember what it's like to be a normal person anymore. <sighs> um, anyway, so I did pick up a lot of no nonsense, like no name nonsense brands like this and focus to Sarah, like random brands that I shouldn't have, but I just got lured in by the clearance of it all. And um, so a lot of these, you know, aren't doing well. Um, but I think for many of these, I may have paid 40 cents for that because it was like 49 cent tags and a dollar tag and 99 cent tags. So I mean, this I probably didn't even spend $1.95 on, so it's okay. 
but I did pick up a lot of nonsense as well. Good stuff, but also nonsense. Just one, I think I mentioned this before. So I end up sometimes picking up things that are like no name, but I think I'm picking it up on style, like the tie front, the ombre, the denim, the chambray, like that whole little vibe for summer and it just never sold. But I sent it into thread up and surprisingly they took it. I didn't know if they would because it's, I don't know that it's vintage, but it's just kind of like, you know, it's not a name brand. I didn't know if they would take it and they did. So it's interesting. You never know. Don't make decisions. Just try, put it in one of those boxes that you don't care about and see what happens with it. Um, so $3 and 52 cents. That's okay. That came from the bin. So that was totally fine. This is unbranded. I felt like this was white house black market, but maybe it wasn't. I don't remember. Maybe it was the limited. I don't know. But they listed it as unbranded and I didn't say anything about it and I made $2.70 because honestly I could have taken the time to write to them to look it up on my spreadsheet and all of that, but I didn't care. I know what my value pieces are and I know that if there's an issue on something that's going to affect the price big time, I'll go and fight that battle, um, but I'm not going to do it on everything and I certainly wasn't going to do it on this onesies. Let's talk about onesies. Same situation as some of the other kids things. Like I said, I picked up things from time to time. A lot of times I would do onesies that had like an NFL team or a college team or, you know, something like that. Cause people do look for those specific things and they don't want to spend a lot of money. Cause how long is the kid going to be 18 months for? So people don't like to spend a lot of money on that. Um, so I always did well with this type of thing, but this one just had sat around for quite some time. Couldn't give it away on Poshmark. Guess nobody cares about the 49ers. I don't know, San Francisco where you at. So, um, 60 cents for this. I picked it up at the bins. It probably cost me 30 or less. And this is not a good flip to once upon a child because they don't pay very much for onesies. Their sales for onesies, at least at ours, are sometimes 10 for a dollar, 15 for a dollar. Like they're giving those onesies away. So they don't pay much for them when you're trying to sell them. So getting a 60 cent flip on this is fine. And if you're still a bins shopper, which I'm not anymore currently, and you can find these onesies and they're in good shape and you know you're paying pennies for them, save up a bunch, like literally just keep a little bin off to the side, save up a bunch and then send it in in a I don't care box. Because let's say you had 20 of them or whatever, you don't pay any fees for it. You can ship it off whenever, it doesn't matter because you're not paying any fees. You don't feel the need to fill up a 30 pound box. Um, and you paid padiddly squat for it. And let's say you sell a handful of them, that'll probably pay for what you paid for them. And anything that sells beyond that is, you know, gravy. So, I mean, it could just be a little bit of a revenue maximizer, perhaps, you know, you're not going to get, get rich quick off of it, but if you blend it into what you're already doing, you're already at the binge, you're already sending boxes in, whatever, it might be worth it. Just a thought. Talbot's outlet short sleeve top. Here we go again. Dollar forty seven. We are in the home stretch now, guys. We have nineteen left to go. We had sixty six, so I think I'm doing pretty good. Tallulah leggings. They came to me. I thought that they were something, but I guess they're not. They only got me a dollar forty seven. This was kind of a bummer. I had this on Poshmark. It didn't sell. I think somebody bought it and then they canceled it because I remember it actually selling, but then it never happened. Um, $3.52. I mean, it's old. Like that's an old tag. This is old, um, but it was still brand new with the tag. Um, so it is what it is. I've had some good luck selling some swimsuits on here, but that was not one of them. MNG, is this mango? MNG, like, I don't know what it all is, but it is, it was new with the tag. It wasn't a high retail value, but I only got $1.47 for it. So that was a bummer. Climate Right Cardigan, $3.27. Uh, Pure Jill Sleeveless Blouse, $3.50. So again, tank tops, this kind of thing, these little basics. This was surprising. This may have been that I dropped the price on it or something because it's a Pure Jill. And I don't know what the pure Jill higher end, not higher end of, I don't know where that line is. I've just never really looked into it, but I only got $4 and 26 cents for it. So that wasn't great. Ava and Viv, here we go again. Um, again, along the same lines, about $4, $3 and 80 cents. You're not going to get too much for it. Lula row leggings. This was only $1.35. I don't know why that is. The other one was $3. 
Um, Style & Co, again, just a three quarter sleeve top, $2.35. Banana Republic short sleeve t-shirt, $1.92. Under Armour, this was new with the tags and I guess it's like these layering things, base layer or whatever, $4.08. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, assorted brands, I don't even remember what this was but they obviously didn't recognize it and just listed as assorted brands, so it's $2.70. Additions by Chico's, there you go again. This was a whole jacket and I only got $3.08 but that was again, additions. Here, Zara. So I'm not sending any Zara to thread up. I will take Zara and get a few dollars for it on at Style Encore locally, or I will hold out if I get it, and then I will try to list it on Poshmark at some point, even though I'm not really doing that. Maybe I'll hang on to it, but I'm not sending it to thread up because to get this was brand new with the tags. And again, it doesn't have a high retail value on some pieces, but to get a dollar ninety-two for a brand new with tag Zara item is just very upsetting to me because I felt like I probably could have listed it on Poshmark, found a stock photo, and at least gotten 15 for it. So maybe 10, but 15 more likely. And so what the heck? Fashion Nova, this came to me, I think, or maybe, no, no, no. I think I got this at the bins a long time ago. Um, and I think, yeah, it was new with the tags and it was a size large. And I thought I grabbed it from the bins thinking that maybe around like Halloween time, somebody would want it or something, but obviously I'm not selling on Poshmark. Here we are in Halloween time. Um, but I kind of feel like, you know, maybe somebody was going to be like a singer or a rock star or a dream girl, <laughs> you know, like something beauty queen. I don't know. And so they could have used it as a Halloween costume or something. So anyway, $3.27. Here's another coat, Newport, only $4.53. I think that was also from Airport Less Luggage. J. Crew tank top, $4.08. What a terrible disgrace. Hannah Anderson. Ugh, come on, guys. Um, obviously kids, 14, is it really that big of a size? I don't know, but it's $2.40. And I think this is our last one, Sag Harbor Blazer. So I would never pick up Sag Harbor. This is something, this is something that came to me in a bulk pre-owned. It's a wide range of things. When you don't pick out items yourself and you order in bulk, you get the good, you get the bad. This was one of those things where I would have never picked it. Um, $4.26 for a blazer. I've sold blazers for over $100 on ThreadUp. So it's not against blazers, it's against Sag Harbor. Um, but it is what it is, it's in, it's out. I still made a small profit, fine, fine. So guys, I know I talked really fast, but we had 66 items to get through. This is from May to October, March. <laughs> She was yelling um, from the end of March until October 5th. These are all of the sales that I've had on ThreadUp that have processed at this point that have been less than $5. So hopefully some of the insights that I brought up here today will help you not waste space in your boxes. Don't send some of these items, t-shirts, tank tops, layering pieces, um, you know, assorted brands, unbranded items, things like that, outlet, factory, those sorts of lines, any of the lower end lines like additions by Chico's, just be mindful of those things. You can probably do better with it on your own on Poshmark or selling to a buy, sell trade store or whatever, but don't waste precious space in those boxes where you could be putting could be putting good items that will make you a lot more money. I hope you like this. Let me know in the comments below um, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel so we can hang out again. Leave me a comment below so I can say hi and like this video so YouTube will tell other resellers about it. Thanks so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.